Cole was headed to work and he admits he was speeding about 10 miles per hour over the limit. Suddenly, a pickup truck hidden by the glare of oncoming headlights pulled onto the road in front of him. Cole had no chance to stop, T-boning the pickup truck. His rare Saturn Ion Redline was sent rolling, finally coming to rest on its roof. Unsurprisingly, it was totaled. Cole had to have surgery for a broken wrist and says he's lucky to be alive. Amazingly, he told us the pickup driver's insurance provider is blaming him for the accident and refusing to pay for his claim. He wants to know who you think is at fault and if he should hire an attorney to sue the insurance company. He also wanted to shout out his family for supporting him through this ordeal. Alexander was heading to his parents' house in his pickup truck to help them move. When a van driver brake checked him, he swerved to avoid it before speeding up to beat a yellow light. An oncoming driver in the turn lane didn't see Alexander and turned, T-boning his pickup and sending it into a light pole before rolling over. His truck was totaled in the impact. The other driver was found to be at fault and his insurance provider paid for Alexander's truck. The accident was so severe that it was even covered by the local news. One man was taken to the hospital after a crash at 52nd Avenue South and 45th Street South in Fargo. Officers on the scene tell us the pickup was struck by the car at the intersection. They describe the pickup driver's injuries as non-life-threatening despite the massive damage to the vehicle. And they say the driver of the car was not hurt. However, traffic was slowed for more than an hour as crews worked to get that pickup onto another truck. Zoran was driving in heavy traffic, inching toward his exit at about five miles per hour. As he began accelerating to make his exit, a BMW came flying down the shoulder, nearly causing a collision. Fortunately, Zoran noticed the BMW's illegal maneuver at the last second and dodged out of the way. It was a close one, but a collision was avoided. As is his custom, Josh was headed to Dunkin' Donuts on his way to work. After waiting for traffic to clear, he began turning left into the parking lot when a car coming out of the parking lot ran into him. The car hit the rear of Josh's pickup, damaging a wheel, quarter panel, hubcap, and shock absorber. The other car was totaled and had to be towed away. The other driver was uninsured. They were found to be at fault, so now a collection agency is suing them to pay for the $5,000 US dollar repair bill. They had a sore arm, but fortunately Josh was unhurt. Albert was getting ready to exit a parking lot when he watched a woman walk in front of a Ford Explorer, blocking it intentionally. Keep in mind, there's no crosswalk here, marked or unmarked. We have no idea what this lady was thinking. She then proceeded to pound on the hood while the Explorer driver backed out of the road in an attempt to escape her unexplained wrath. Eventually, she got out of the way before yelling at other passing traffic as the Explorer drove away. My favorite part is this Tesla driver just noping his way out of the situation. By the way, how many Teslas can you spot in this clip? I guess this is why they call them California Camrys. This submitter was driving down the interstate when traffic ahead started slowing down. Even though he had room to stop, he was afraid the car behind him might not. He pulled over on the shoulder, giving the Toyota, which also took to the shoulder, just enough room to stop. It was definitely a close one, and our submitter is glad his Polestar 2 wasn't hit. David was a delivery driver for Domino's Pizza. One day, while headed to the house of a regular customer, he slowed down to turn into a driveway when a pickup driver hit his Corolla from behind. The pickup truck ended up in a field and David's car was totaled. David was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The other driver's insurance provider covered the value of the car and the medical bills. Unfortunately, David's car wasn't paid off and the value was less than what he still owed, so he had to buy a replacement using his own savings. David worked for Domino's for over 11 years before this accident and he asked to shout out his friend and former co-worker James who shares his taste in music. Caleb was on his way to a car show in his Scion TC when he stopped at a stop sign. After a Dodge Charger turned in front of him, he proceeded through the intersection. While Caleb was passing him in the right lane, the Charger driver suddenly dove to the right, sideswiping Caleb's car. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
The Charger driver claimed the accident was Caleb's fault because he was speeding, even though he was actually driving slower than the speed limit when the accident happened. He's filed a claim with the Charger driver's insurance provider and he's currently waiting to see if they'll repair his car or if it's totaled. Evo was getting ready to turn right on red, legal in the United States, after coming to a complete stop, and noticed a cyclist coming down the road. As he turned, the cyclist cut across Evo's lane to get to the sidewalk. Evo had to slam on his brakes and swerve to avoid hitting the straying cyclist. Will was headed home from work when he was passing a long line of cars waiting for a traffic light. Suddenly, the other drivers let a car through and Will had no chance to stop without hitting it. Will slammed on the brakes as soon as he saw the Ford, but he was going the speed limit of 45 miles per hour. The other driver told Will that people had been waving him through and he'd thought it was safe for him to proceed. The other driver's insurance provider is currently paying for all the repairs, somewhere around 4,000 US dollars, and paying for a rental car for Will in the meantime. Sean is 17 and was learning to drive with his mother supervising. As they approached stopped traffic, they were both distracted by emergency vehicles and Sean drove right into the back of a Toyota Yaris. Sean admits this accident was his fault. Fortunately, nobody was seriously injured. Unfortunately, his mother's boyfriend had messed up their insurance coverage, so now they'll all be paying for everyone's repairs out of pocket. Sean just hopes that our viewers learn from his mistake and pay attention to the road. Sean wasn't our only submitter at fault for rear-ending someone. Josiah, also 17, was headed to the store with his girlfriend when he took his eyes off the road. The woman he'd hit was very nice as they exchanged information. This is Josiah's first accident after less than a year on the road. This next one is really weird. You tell me your theory and I'll tell you mine. Dodge was headed home from work in his Ranger, yes, Dodge drives a Ford, when a truck that was tailgating him cut into the exit lane to pass him on the right, with an SUV following him way too closely. After they'd both made the dangerous pass, the SUV flashed some hidden emergency lights before shutting them off again. Dodge wonders if this was an unmarked law enforcement vehicle, but I have a hard time believing that. Did you know that just anybody can go online and buy emergency lighting for their car, then install it themselves? It's true, check it out. I tend to think this SUV was probably being driven by a normal civilian who figured he'd scare the pickup driver with a quick flash of his aftermarket hazard lamps. Dylan and his friends were on the last leg of their six hour road trip back to Canada and they were following a car moving slower than the speed limit. Watch what happened as they approached a blind corner on this very dark road. A truck driver chose the worst opportunity to pass Dylan. When an oncoming car appeared, he cut in front of Dylan to avoid a collision, forcing Dylan to slam on his brakes. A little while later, Dylan said he passed the same semi-truck using an actual passing lane. What a concept. He wanted to shout out his girlfriend Emily for being the best. Zach was between DoorDash orders when he watched a teenage girl fly through a red light and hit an old man that had a green light. Zach checked on both drivers, then called 911 and readied his dashcam footage for responding officers. Both cars were totaled, but their drivers had no serious injuries. Harry was with his daughter waiting at a red light when a cop pulled alongside them in the left turn lane. When the light turned green, a driver from the left ran their now red light and the cop immediately pulled them over. Harry says this is the first time he's seen someone get pulled over for running a red light in New England. Ordinarily, he has to wait a few seconds after the light changes just for self-preservation reasons. Vladimir was headed south on I-5 when, all of a sudden, a pickup driver appeared in front of him coming the wrong way down the highway. Fortunately, Vladimir and all the other drivers he could see were able to dodge the wayward pickup, but you have to wonder what that driver could have been thinking. Malenko was waiting at a red light when he watched someone turn from the wrong lane and crash into another car. 
This clip was recorded a couple of years ago, actually. Malenko saw that car again recently, and they'd decorated the dent with a decal of someone punching their car. Victor was driving with his BMW in Sport Plus mode, which limits the traction control. When his tires made contact with wet streetcar tracks, the car lost traction and spun into oncoming lanes. Uh -huh. Fortunately, there was no oncoming traffic at the time, and Victor was able to straighten out and avoid hitting the curb. Rob sent us a clip of some huge daytime lightning bolts. I hope this clip doesn't get taken down for being too shocking. Do you have a dash cam video that you want to share with us? Please send the video together with a description of what happened using the link in the description below. I wonder if Rob was driving a Volkswagen. Get it?